Oluwa Bona hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's cameron welcome if you're new if not welcome back it is thursday night and we are about to get this hair together i actually just took down my mini braids as y'all can see and i actually kind of like how my hair looks it's nice and stretched but still has a little bit of texture to it which i think is cute so we're actually okay let's run it back let's run it back so we're actually going to um houston tomorrow morning if if i'm like doing a little bit much i'm talking to the vlog and tiktok so don't mind me okay but we're going to houston tomorrow our friends are getting not married engaged they're getting engaged desmond and dara he's going to surprise her this weekend and propose and we're all just like so excited so yeah we're going to houston for the weekend and my hair is looking like this so we gotta get her together right now i'm so hot i just got the shower and i'm just like whew, trying to cool off but yes so i decided not to wash my hair only because i didn't feel like it was that dirty all i really had in it was cream and that's what i'm gonna put in it again some cream and some mousse and i really like like the stretch look so i'm just go ahead and put some twists on it um from dry and it's kind of stretched out already so i think that'll be nice so i just want to do like a quick twist out nothing crazy because i'm tired and i think i don't think it has to be perfect so basically what i'm going to use is the dew mousse i'm going to use some eden body works curl defining cream if you know you know this is my all-time favorite i've been using this for years this works the best on my hair just try it okay I use it on all my clients and I love it. It's so moisturizing, but it also gives a good hold. I feel like I haven't really found a cream that does what this one does. Then I'm going to use my bread oil. This is just the one I've been using. It smells good and it's cute. I'm not picky about oil, oils, y'all, at all. And then my three-row comb to define. And I might use a little bit of leave-in. I don't want to make it too wet. So if I do use some leave-in, it's going to be just a tad bit. Cause it's already very it's very moisturized all i used in my mini twist is um the curl defining cream i think i did some mousse and oil and i've just been putting oil on it and leave-in conditioner like throughout the days just to keep it moisturized and it definitely did stay moisturized and of course i'm gonna use my clips to so just keep it out the way and i'm gonna do kind of chunky twist y'all but while i'm doing this i wanted to just talk and let y'all know like the vibes for the weekend right so let me pause my show i've been watching love and marriage huntsville i think i told y'all this but yes we're going to houston for the proposal um and then they're gonna do like a engagement party the same night later on at night so yeah i'm so excited for our friends okay so i just split it down the middle and then I'm going to just section this half off just so it's out the way. Okay, that would, no, that looks horrible. <laughs> I just want to get it out of the way. Okay. I'm going to just start in the back. And I'm going to do my twist about, about this big. Nothing small, like I told y'all. And I'm going to just detangle it and then um, I'm going to just detangle it and twist it up with my cream and brush through it with my detangling brush and do about this much cream my ends are actually looking really good then I'm going with some mousse the mousse is going to be what kind of holds it since we have since it's dry um, the mousse will be a good hold and then also the, this mousse is very moisturizing, which, which is why I like it so much. A little bit more. I'm gonna just twist her up. So I might send it to dry. Actually, I'm gonna send it to dry for a little bit before I go to sleep, just so I don't have to worry about it being dry tomorrow because we're going to dinner tomorrow. 
So Dara has no idea that we're even coming out there. She doesn't know that anybody's gonna be out there. I don't think she knows that Desmond's out there right now. It's Thursday, he went out there this morning. Um, Corey actually brought him to the airport this morning. I don't think he even, she even knows that he's there. So all this is gonna be so cute and so funny once, once she finds out. But we all, all the girls, well, me, New, Kylan, Danae, and Jenna, we put together like a cute little basket for her. Just like a bride basket, just, just like a congratulations thing with like a cute little claw clip that says bride. I did, I'm gonna show y'all like the stuff that we got. I got her this engagement journal. Dara loves to journal and like write stuff down and she loves her planners and her books and stuff. So I thought that would be a cute little thing for her to have that she could like journal during her engagement and just like keep, you know, the memories and everything. So I got her that and then we also got a little ring tray thing with her initials on it. And then just like some little girly things, body wash, scrub, like self-care, a little self-care basket. Just to say congratulations and bride stuff. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna be wedding. Y'all, all of my friends are starting to get married and it's, it's that point in life right now. And it's so exciting and I'm so happy for everybody. It's just fun to see like all of your people just having having a good old time and finding finding love and all that. And then it's it's cool when everybody just gets along and it becomes like this one big family. Like I just love that. Cause all of our friends are just finding their people and then we all just kind of connect and become family. And I just love that. So yeah. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna twist this up. I'm gonna watch my show, because y'all know how I do. And I'm gonna holla at y'all once we probably get to the other side. This one I better do with it. Jabada. We might not get tired of it. Jabada. You know that I'm going by my face. Call me Jabada. We demand we do it. Jabada. What's it going on? Something is not right, <laughs> and I'm about to go to sleep because I'm tired. So I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is Lord, look. Please ignore my twist, but it is Saturday morning. It's 7:30. I'm about to. I just couldn't sleep, so I'm about to get up and I'm up. I'm about to make myself some coffee and send to the dryer for a little bit until we leave. I know one guy, I know one women, I want enjoy, I want your life, I want buy motor, I want build house, I still want to know. Let me tell me, what's it go? Do I go? Oh, depends. Ride the wood, I know you die for nothing. What's it go? Do I go? Oh, depends. Ride the wood, I know you. Different things that happen in schemes and packaging. In our one night for shows, I'm juggling. You all like the ocean, my boat, I'm paddling. Shout out to my fella, that's my bro, my family. Frozen trades. When it comes to money, I they concentrate. They got the list, you are not my mate. If you become a shop, I'll be here. I got a kid's meal. Before I got some nuggets. Let's send them up so they can drive. Whoa. Oh, come on, B. Who are you going at? That's our partner. Who? Oh. 
Oh. Huh? Y'all. Pray. Just pray. <laughs> you knew him. You knew him. We don't know that man, Adam. Nor Eve. So no sauce for your nuggets? Um, how many comments can I simply give? Two. Okay. Also? No. Why not? Oh, you nuggets playing with you. You want to catch up for your fries? Yes. How do you want it? Like, pour it over? Mm-hmm. Y'all, do y'all pour, do y'all pour your ketchup? Corey's a pour over guy. I just think that's like illegal. <laughs> I don't feel like anyone should do that. We have to eat these plain. Tell me one more. I didn't want to drop. And then I got nuggets with mac and cheese. I love their mac and cheese. Okay, bye y'all. Okay y'all, first stop is Total Wine. Look at store. Yeah. And so far, we got oh a bottle of 818, a little bottle because this is for this is my bottle for the house for the room, and then Corey got a bottle of Makers and I want some wine, and I don't know what I want exactly, and I also need something with a screw top. Okay, I'm coming. I just need to find ice beer. Mm-hmm. We should have one on this floor. Hey man, the gang's all here. Well, everybody's not here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey. Everybody, stop hey. trying to take this off my head. Look at Mary. Look at Mary. <laughs> Why were you mad? So Why are you taking a shot in the teacup, though? We're getting ready for dinner. I'm trying to hurry up and do my makeup. This is my first time trying the Elf Hydro, what is it? Oh, the Power Grip? She I so I wanted to see what it was I giving, I but I have 20 minutes to do my makeup and get dressed and take my hair loose so and be in the car. <laughs> so I'm trying to see how I can do. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels very good. Y'all, Elf has been giving. Okay. These are probably the most trifling looking braids. Okay, I'm letting this try to let it get a little tacky. Surprisingly enough, I never wear primer. I just never have done, have worn it. I've had to separate them into three because they didn't fit. So just, yeah, and take some of the water out. Just a little bit of water. Mm, that feels really good. So we're all going to dinner. Um, what's crazy is, I can't wait for Darren to watch the video, but we've been in a group message talking and just like, We've all been sending old pictures of us. We're talking like, oh, Friday night, we're all staying in. It's a nasty day type stuff. Because so everybody's sending like their old pictures <laughs> of them in the house. And they're sending pictures in the house like, oh, um, oh yeah, it's such a, they're a nasty day. Cause it's raining, it's been raining all day. And she has no clue that we're all here right now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? What do you think she's gonna say, babe? So normally I just get my foundation on with my brush. One thing I will say is my brush is very like oily looking. I'm not sure if that's because of my moisturizer, if that's the primer. I'm not used to that, but I normally get it in and get it kind of buffed out. And then I'll go in with my beauty blender and blend. And then I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. If I can find it, here it is. And y'all, I've been doing a dry beauty blender lately. Believe it or not. I never thought I'd be that girl. But it blends just fine. Hey Siri, call mommy on speaker. This looks really good. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Um. So y'all leaving in time to get there for 8.15? Because if not, we're going to get in the car with y'all. Um, is daddy going to? Yeah. Well, if y'all are ready in time, we'll just get in with y'all. Huh? Oh, of course you have noodles. Of course, I just, I just of, of course, course my name is Cameron. Of course, I have ramen noodles, chicken flavor. <laughs> 
My name is Cameron. Of course I have ramen noodles with chicken flavor. With chicken flavor. Yeah. Of course. I bring it to the hotel. Can I uh, bring they it? They stay in here? Yeah. They're on the fourth floor, I think. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this. What they doing tonight? Yeah. It should have. I spray my face. I'm letting my um stuff dry. But my people then go say I don't want to buy I don't want that I don't want to buy Say hi Sanjay Say hi Hey You guys are So now look Alright y'all The engagement happened It happened Oh I know we're so excited This is the little box that we got From her so we did, I think I showed y'all, but I did, oh, this engagement journal, so she could like document a little engagement and stuff, and then we just got like a little ring tray, candle, some saltair, planner, just like some cutesy little things, oh, you already know, come on, so yes, really, really cute, and then now, in the car that we got, it's so cute, isn't that cute? Yeah, that's really cute. So we're gonna stick it. On there, on there. Yeah. because we don't have some anything to go on top. Should have inserted like some clips and stuff. Y'all, everything came out so nice. We had a time, okay? A time was had. But yeah, we're leaving today. We just wanted to stop and get some food first. We came to take uh, um, Blanco tequila. This is, we come here every time we're here. I don't know why, but it's good. It's just easy. Right by the Galleria, so, you know, we're always around here. So we always come here. Um, But yeah, we had such a good time. We ran to the bathroom. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to a few stores or something before we leave. Definitely want to get some dessert after this, but I'll take y'all with me. <laughs> Hey y'all, so we are back home and I honestly just got dressed and I'm about to cook um, some soup and do like a chicken noodle soup. Corey's not really feeling too well and all of a sudden I'm just starting to feel like I'm coming down something again. I, I swear, every time I go out of town, I come home sick. So, just is what it is. But I made some soup the other day and it was so good and um i'm about to make some more because we could both use that so i'm doing chicken noodle soup basically how i do it it's so easy like i last time i used my wings that um were marinating that i tell y'all about that i do so this time i actually got a rotisserie chicken just to make it easy but i want the flavor from these wings so i'm gonna put a few in there and then just some rotisserie chicken just like to fill it and have a good bit of meat in it so i'm gonna let that get hot drop some chicken in there to brown and then we'll cut up the cut up everything else so the way i do it is very 
simple. It doesn't require like a bunch of ingredients or anything. I cut up some onions, some carrots, and celery. And I think that's it. And then I also put like some minced garlic, of course. But that's pretty much it. And that's just, it, you know, just enough flavor. And I'll show y'all exactly how we do it. But first, I'm gonna just cut up all of my seasonings and go from there. Okay, I'm just do some oil. Just enough to kind of coat the pan. Let that get hot and then we'll brown the chicken. You light up my life. And when she tell me my love is your love, baby. She don't want the Gucci, got the body bendy. Cause she give me butterflies in my belly. Oh, look. And when she tell me my love is your love, baby. And my mood is right, baby. She will save me. Cause she give me butterflies in my belly. Oh, look. put some butter in the pot i put my garlic in this little these little um glass containers that i got from amazon i just think they're super cute and then i'm gonna do my onions i did like a whole onion and celery and carrots I'm gonna just saute this down in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my rotisserie chicken just so I have like some shredded chicken to put in the soup Also did a chicken bouillon cube last time. Give all the flavor. Get this one. 
This is when I add in my chicken. And I'm gonna just let, I like to get all those juices. That's all the good stuff. I'm gonna let that cook down. And then a little bit later, I'll add the noodles. I'm gonna do these noodles, these little shells. And I'll just do the rest of these. So I'm gonna let that simmer, cook real good. And then eventually, like the, the meat will start to fall off of this these bones. And I'll just take the bones out. Or even if it doesn't fall off, I'll just kind of peel it off. So I shredded the chicken, got it off the bone, and then I just put the noodles in. I did these like um, shell noodles. And I also put a bay leaf in there. I forgot to tell you about that. And it's pretty much done. I'm just gonna let the noodles cook and then we'll eat. All right, y'all. All done. I'm gonna do a taste test. And I'm gonna sit down and relax on the sofa. It's really hot. Okay, y'all. So I pretty much cleaned the kitchen. My floors are like this stuff all over the floors. So I'm about to run my little thingy to mop and sweep. Um, this is the one I have. I think it's called the Tuya. Tuya. And you literally just um, press go, and it maps your house before you um for it run when you first get it and it does a really good job i put water and pine salt in like a little um container thing it does really good i'll link it in my amazon storefront because i had it on my registry and somebody got it for us and girl i'll be putting that thing to work almost every day so yes one thing about it it is pretty loud i have to say it's not quiet but i do it at a time when like I don't really care <laughs> and it's not allowed to the point where like i can't handle it but it's not it's not quiet um but i'm about to make myself some coffee like i told y'all i have been tweaking with the coffee and i haven't had i don't think i've had coffee all weekend so definitely about to get into that let's go over here to our little coffee corner today I want to add that to my um, to-do list. I need to start looking at like some blinds and stuff because I have no blinds in my house. I still have these temporary blinds and they're starting to look real tacky. So it's time for us to get that together. And I don't like this here. I just I never moved it. I'm gonna move it when I finish. But for coffee, I normally just do the Starbucks coffee, vanilla, medium roast, sweetened in black and fill her up and then for the non-dairy girls I go in with the Starbucks non-dairy creamer almond milk and oat milk and this is the um, caramel macchiato flavor and then I mix it up just to make sure it's the right color I like her close to my color that's how that is the only way that's the only way I can like gauge the color I like it to be really close to my skin color but then I do my syrup I do my vanilla and y'all this is from Amazon too these little pumps I think they're the cutest thing I do three pumps of vanilla and then like two pumps of the hazelnut and then I mix her up Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really want to be one of those people that have their refrigerator like super organized. So I need to figure that out. I really want like little containers and the and the little dispenser for my cans. Oh, I just need that in my life. So good. Okay, let's sit down. We can go through our to-do list because we have a good bit of things I want to do today. But I don't want to be stressed out about it. I don't want to be overwhelmed. I want to just do the things and pick this up. I don't want to be like stressed out by it. I just want to have my little plan for the day and then be able to execute. Mondays, as y'all know, are my off days. But I find that I can get really overwhelmed on Mondays. I'm trying to get all these things done in a matter of a few hours. And it's just really unrealistic. Um, so yeah, I need to do better with my expectations for my off day and not try to do everything in the world. So here is what is on our to-do list. And of course, like everything isn't for today. So on our to-do list, I'm gonna do like a little thing right here. At least I think I am. <laughs> Y'all, by the time I get to editing, it's just be like, post it, go. Like I need to get, I need to get more creative. Okay, so to-do list, we need to put up our acrylic shelves. I bought these acrylic shelves, which y'all are gonna see because we're gonna do that today from Amazon. They will also be in my storefront in case you guys wanna grab me some. But I'm putting them in my office. So I'm gonna do two, I got two. I'm gonna do one on one side of the wall, one on the other. And my plan is to find like a dresser or like a sideboard table to put in the middle so that I can have storage, but still be cute. So imagine it, like, a sideboard with the two acrylic shells on the sides so we need to put that together um i want to go through my groceries and figure out what i need to order and also figure out our meals for the week i want to clean i need to clean up the house which i started doing that it's pretty much done i'm gonna just straighten up um my office um our guest room a little bit and then just like you know little things around around here but i don't have much to do then we need to unpack because i haven't unpacked at all then I need to finish um, editing some content to send off to a brand. And then I want to measure, you know, I don't need to do either, either of these today. Oh, I need to do some insurance stuff. So I'll call a few companies. Um, and then I need to, I have returns at Zara and return for Man Manier de Bois. However you say it, Manier de Bois or however you know you pronounce it i'm not sure but um i need to return both of those and then that's pretty much it for the day there's probably a few more things i could think to do but i'm not gonna do that to myself um so yeah we're gonna just take our time and we're gonna get this done i'm gonna sit here have my coffee watch a little youtube or something and then i'm gonna start unpacking and then get into the rest of everything Wondering all day, try to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind, what it gave me. Try to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind, my mind is running. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Starting to give up my pain. Starting to be on my lane. My mind running to the other side. When it's time to leave my life, then it tries to take me out. Tell you what I need. So basically what I did is just took everything out and put it in like little sections, I guess. So my shoes, jewelry, bags, hair stuff is here. All of my toiletries and stuff. And then, yeah. Yo, please tell me why I literally have no more luggage. All of my luggage is either broken or destroyed. So I have all Calpac luggage and I feel like maybe... It's time for me to try something else because all of my wheels, it's all the same problem. It's the wheels. So like this back wheel, let me try, let me show y'all. And I will never be buying another white suitcase again. Look at that. So when I, I don't know if y'all can see, but like, it's like got a kind of cock to the side, like doing shoulder lean or something. So every time I put weight on it, it just kind of, it won't even roll. Like. So it's time for me to get this up. And then I, this is all three of my suitcases by them. Do the same thing. My carry-on, my large one, and this one. Now, mind you, this is my newest one, okay? And this is probably the worst. <laughs> this one is broken the most. Um, my other ones I've had for years upon years, like maybe like four years. 
this one probably too but i don't want to say it's a cow bag thing i want to just say it's wear and tear because i've been on the road y'all we the past two years i feel like i haven't sat down so maybe it's just like what happens but at the same time it's luggage like it's supposed to be it's supposed to be used for traveling so i don't know if y'all have any luggage recommendations let me know down below because i don't want to be crazy and buy the cow pack again but that's like all i've ever really bought all i've used so i don't know but yeah just let me know what you guys will recommend i'm about to go ahead and put all this stuff where they belong we're making good timing y'all so y'all here is how the office is looking so far it's really just like a blank canvas honestly let me show you from this side so these oh my god these are my bins that i have all of my, normally they're folded okay but it just gets crazy i pretty much live out of these bins because these are my sweatpants and then i have just like extra like lounge clothes in here um but the organization like it's just no organization it's hard to keep that organized so i can't wait to get a dresser like i was telling y'all to go back here and then i'm gonna do my two acrylic shells on the ends and maybe like some type of cute like art piece or like a mirror or something right there here is my desk with the chair and then here is the mirror that i got for it the only thing is i wish the back of it oh oh my god that scared me oh that scared me <laughs> that that was my boom falling oh my god <sighs> <sighs> that scared the heck out of me anyway i wish the back of this wasn't black like that because i have it in the middle of my floor which is where i wanted it so i gotta figure out how i want to disguise that so if y'all have any ideas let me know then this has to get situated too these are my purse hooks that i need to figure out where i'm putting them and then this is our router or modem whatever you call it I need to figure out how to disguise that also. And I just have stuff like, I don't know where to put. I just need my storage, basically. So I'm about to just get that done. First, I'm going to sit and finish editing this video so I can send it off. And... I got I really need everything in time. do my little shelves right <clears throat> and it seems pretty easy first i was like maybe i should wait till Corey gets home to put this together but i used to put stuff together before i got married i can do it i can still do it i would not be one of those people i literally have not put anything together since we've been married so that's why i was like oh lord like am i over my head girl i'm about to put this this thing together he just does it so effortlessly my nerves girl putting stuff together just makes my nerves bad but this one seems easy. seems easy. All you have to do is I'm gonna insert a picture of the actual shelf that I'm putting in so y'all can get an idea. But literally all you have to do is just put the little shelves, screw the shelves together, and then put the things, and then you just screw literally those and then those down there. That's it. So we should be fine. So I'm gonna do that first. Go on with it, go on with it, go on with it. So we are coming here with a force, yeah. That's in the army, but we go it's in our foot. But we don't ride some boats. Yeah, we give thanks like we need it the most. Yeah, we give thanks like we ain't supposed to be thankful. That's in the army, my friend. Let's see. So after 
20,000 hours of me trying to get this screw or this drill bit thingy out of the little case, we finally got it. So I'm gonna just stick this, I think it just goes on like this. be right today all right but it's not even hold up uh-uh now it's a little cut to the side wait oh shoot okay let me broke my wrist doing that I imagine that this is going to be the hardest part, getting it on the wall, which still I feel like it shouldn't be hard, but I think it's going to be the more challenging part. So it says to determine the location of the punching point. Drill the hole with an electric drill, insert the expansion screw into the hole, and then you just drill it with the screws and washers. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna need a pencil. I don't want them like right up against the wall. Maybe like here. How do I know if it's standing up right? Whatever. I just, just be good. That's my problem, y'all. I am just, just I, I can be like a little unthorough sometimes just to make things easier on myself, but I have to stop being like that. Okay, y'all, we are all done. I'm trying to figure out the best, like, lighting situation. Should I open the blind, close it? It's just the lighting is getting very much weird. Okay, I think windows open. Oh my god, y'all. Yeah, I think the window open is gonna be the best way, but basically, I just got them both up. No lie, y'all, this one is broken. <laughs> So I actually already ordered like a replacement. You can do it on, on Amazon where you just like say it's broken because it is and then they'll send you a replacement and you just send this one back. So I'm waiting for the replacement and then I'll just take it down, which is really easy. I just gotta unscrew the top and the bottom and then I'll just put it back in the box and send it to UPS and then just put the other one up. Um, Cause these little parts, the whole thing fell basically. I wasn't, I didn't have it screwed in and it fell, but I went ahead and styled it. I did like this little mushroom candle that I thought was so cute. Um, I got this from, I think, HomeGoods with my little um, jewelry display thing. I put two earrings on it. My tissue boxes. I did two perfumes. And this is just like a really quick style and I'll have to play with it some more. A vase down there. And then on the other one, I did another candle. I actually lit this one because I love it. That smells. Um, I did another little jewelry tray put my rings on there and then my Byredo Mojave Ghost my jewelry box and I don't have anything on that one yet but I want to get like some books some cute books and then I went ahead and put uh, my little stool and my boucle um, throw blanket on that one and then here's my desk again let me show y'all what it looks like and of course I still gotta get this situated but um I'm figuring that out next once I get my dresser, it's going to go here. That'll really help out with like storage. And I'll have stuff for my hair products, my makeup, my clothes. And yeah, and then I'm going to do like a cute little art piece right here. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, that is going to end out the vlog. Sorry, I'm looking a hot mess. But it's later in the day and I've been home literally all day. I love that for me. Got so much done. I feel like a real adult today, y'all. I've dealt with insurance stuff. I have done um, all kind of doing. Okay, bills and figuring out okay, all kind of stuff. Benefits and 401k stuff. It just all kind of stuff. Business stuff. So I feel like I have had a very productive day. I love how my office is coming out super cute um 
And now I'm about to sit and edit the vlog. I got all my content stuff done I was supposed to get done. Posted a TikTok. And now I'm about to wrap it up and go lay down. We had dinner, we did salad and chicken. I feel nice. Corey has the game blasting, if y'all hear that in the background. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure you like comment and subscribe i will see y'all next time oh and don't forget to share the video with a friend and i will see y'all in the next one Bye.